Hello everyone, uh, this is Ravina. Welcome back to Pseudocoder. Uh, today we are going to talk about LRU Cache. LRU Cache is the most asked um, Amazon question for 2021 internship uh, panel interview. Um, so I thought it would be a good idea to cover it. Let's start by reading the question here. The question says that design a data structure that follows the constraints of least recently used cache and implement a cache class with LRU cache, cache of in, uh, integer capacity. So we, and the capacity is always gonna be positive. We want to create, uh, we want to write a get method where we return the value of the key if it exists. Otherwise we return minus one. Uh, the next method we wanna write is the put method where we are, will be given key and value. If the key exists, uh, we want to update the value of the key, otherwise add the key value pair to the cache. Uh, if the number of key exceeds the capacity from this operation, evict the least recently used key. Now let me uh, explain this to you in a better way using an example. Okay, so let's say, uh, firstly, we are gonna receive a capacity. So let's say we receive capacity of two. That means that our cache will always be of size two. It cannot exceed two, okay? Then let's say I have this cache where I have size two. That means it can hold two key value pairs. Suppose I get in one A. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add that to my cache. Now I receive two B. I look at my cache, oh, there's one place, yes, so I'm gonna add 2b to it. Suppose now I receive 3c. When I go to my cache, I see, oh, it's already full. So what it needs me to do is, it needs me to evict the least recently used key. So what, what does it mean by that? It means that which key was, uh, what, which has not been used recently, which is, uh, least recently used so in our case 2 was just recently added so that makes 1a the least recently used so when I receive 3c what I'm supposed to do is I'm gonna I'm supposed to get rid of my 1a and then add 3c now suppose if I receive another request say of uh, adding 2 and I get a request of 2d so what I'm gonna, uh, supposed to do is I'm supposed to update the value of my existing key. Now I go into my queue, I see, oh, two already exists. So I'm gonna just update the value of it. So my value becomes D. Now these all are just put operations. Let's talk about the get method. The get method says that whenever you have, you, have, you wanna return the value of the key if exists, otherwise you return minus one. So suppose I do get of three. I'm gonna look into my cache, I'm gonna see, oh, okay, I have three, what's its value? It's C, so I'm gonna get C back. The next thing is, suppose I wanna get the value of six. Now, if I go to my cache, there is no six, so I'm gonna return minus one. So it's right here, we return minus one. So I'm gonna return minus one. So that's what uh, this problem means. Let's try and solve this using a dictionary. So let's say uh, we have a dictionary and we receive a capacity of two. Let's take the previous example itself. And we receive a first element called one A. Now I'm gonna check if uh, I have that inside my dictionary. So do I have this key one inside my dictionary? No. So what I'm gonna do is, the second check I'm gonna do is, uh, is my dictionary at capacity? No, it's not. So uh, I'm gonna add it to my uh, dictionary. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add one A to my dictionary. Now I get a request to put to B. The same, I'll go through the same checks. I'll check if a two is there in the dictionary no, it's not. Is my dictionary at capacity? No. So it will add <clears throat> to be to my dictionary. Now I get 3C. 
so i'll go back to my dictionary check if 3c is there in the dictionary no it's not so i'll check is my dictionary at capacity yes my dictionary is at capacity uh, so i want to get rid of the least recently used uh, uh, key pair in our case that will be this one at the top so what i'm going to do is i'm going to delete the first uh, the zeroth position element from my dictionary so i'm going to delete the, this and i'm going to add 3c to my dictionary so it will be like this now uh, suppose uh, if i get so i'm going to basically iter uh, iterate over this procedure whenever i get a put uh, <clears throat> key and value from the input now the next thing is a get so let me say this is put and suppose i i get a request say get uh get two so it's telling me that what i'm going to do is uh, i need to have get the value for two in the dictionary so i'll check if this two exists in my dictionary yes it does so what i'm going to do is i'm going to save the i'm going to get this out so i have to be here i'm going to delete this remember whenever i delete and re and, uh, and add something to the dictionary it gets added at the end so what i'm going to do is i'm going to delete this i'm going to add it again so it goes to the bottom and then i'm just going to return whatever value so my value is b so i'm going to return b and then this becomes 3c at top and 2b at bottom now when i get 4d as a put request i'm going to again get rid of the zeroth element which is this right now because 2 was recently why did i delete it when when i got get why did i delete it and uh, input it again it's because i wanted to change its instance i wanted to uh, i wanted it to appear below because it was recently used at get so when i get 4d i'm what i'm going to do is i'm going to again get rid of my zeroth row uh, zeroth element and then i'm going to add 4d so this is how uh, so that right now even now i have a capacity of 2 so in this way i'm going to you know uh, do this lru cache using dictionary now let's go to the code and write some code on what we just discussed let me put it right here and maybe i can just do that okay cool so let me go in and write some code uh, i think this is better okay so the first thing that i need to do is basically uh, get my capacity in place right so what i'm going to do is uh, if i get a capacity i'm going to declare a variable called self dot capacity and then i'm going to uh, save my capacity in it the second thing i need is a dictionary right so i'm going to do self dot dict is is equal to the empty dictionary right now let's go and write what our get function will be so our get function will be whenever we say get we are going to check if uh, that particular key is ex uh, is exists in our dictionary so i'm going to do dict dot keys uh, if it's there then i do some processing else what i'm going to do is i'm going to return minus 1 so i'm going to write that first going back to our if condition okay uh what we want to do is when we get uh, when we do a get on the thing that uh, that already exists we want to delete it and reinsert it so before deleting it i want to make sure that i capture what the dictionary value is so i'm going to get that in my in a variable called value and then i'm going to delete that so i'm going to do self dot it and then the key so this will delete the key uh, delete that particular element from the dictionary and then i'm going to reinsert it again so i'm going to do dict of key equal to val which is the value and lastly i'm going to return that value that i just took so this is how the get function will look it basically is checking for the key in the dictionary if it's there then it's uh, just storing it 
deleting it and then in this case in here it's reinserting and just returning the value let's write the put function now so input the first check we want to do is we want to check if key is exists in my uh, self dot dict dot keys so i'm going to check if key is present in dict dot keys if it's present then i want to delete it and then reinsert it because remember uh, yeah i think i uh, yeah so if you remember if i want to update something that's also counted as some some operation is going to happen on that uh, particular key value pair so it should be again deleted and reinserted so what i'm going to do is i'm going to delete that delete that from the text and then i'm going to reinsert it with the different value that i just received so i'm going to do get key equal to value if the key does not exist what do we do then if the key does not exist then we first check the capacity do we have the capacity to just append it or we want to delete it delete some key as delete some pair and then update it so i'm going to check if length of my self dot dict if my length of self dot dict is less than the capacity so i'm going to say if my length of dictionary is less than the capacity then i can just store it right i can just append it because it's my dictionary is not at capacity so i'm just going to do i'm just going to assign it oops okay cool and what if my uh, dictionary is at capacity so that's when this else comes in i'm going to delete the first instance of the dictionary so that is basically self dot dict and what i'm going to do is i'm going to convert that dict into a list and uh, basically take the zeroth element of it and lastly i'm going to add the new key value pair to my dictionary so this is that okay so couple of steps here first check if the key exists in the dictionary if it does um, <clears throat> then just delete it and then update it because this might uh, might be an update operation now if that key does not exist then we check if it's it's at capacity if it's not at capacity we are just going to add a new value that will just append things otherwise if it's at capacity then we take the zeroth element we convert this dictionary to a list take the zeroth element and then just delete that and then add a new value so this is the code that you, that i have now let me try in and just run it no submit it right okay so it's submitted um so this is basically the a uh, code now let's talk about the time and space complexity so the time complexity of this would be o of 1 since if i'm looking for something i'm looking for a key a value in a dictionary that makes it o of 1 whereas uh, when i'm putting it i'm also looking for key in the dictionary so that again makes it o of 1 so time complexity of this particular program is o of 1 the space complexity uh, would be uh, o of capacity now whatever the capacity is that much big our array will be that much long our array will be uh, because if it's at two capacity our dictionary will have two items so that makes my uh, o of space complexity as o of capacity uh, so that's it uh, now this uh, code is going to be on github as usual Uh, i'm going to i'm i'll be attaching the github link in the description please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel if you like my videos and would like to see uh, some similar videos coming up uh, happy coding